And then the third thing, and the third thing is very underrated, but super important. You want to eliminate your housing costs as soon as possible when you're in retirement. And here's why. If you, when you go into retirement, you're going to get three checks. And those checks, for the most part, are going to stay the same. And TFP is the only thing that has some flexibility. And so what you want to do is you want to eliminate as much debt as possible. And for most people, the biggest debt they're going to have is their housing cost. And so what I recommend to my clients is, look, if you can afford it, refinance to a 15-year mortgage when you're in your 50s. So that way, when you retire, you got a paid off piece of real estate. And so in this case, let's take Michelle. Michelle has paid off her mortgage. She has no mortgage in, she has no mortgage in retirement. And she has all that, because she has no mortgage, she has equity in her home. And so if she ever needs excess cash, she can always go into her home for it. When she wants to leave a financial legacy for her family, like I know a lot of you want to do, you can leave the home to them. You know, you got to properly set it up in a will and all that type of stuff because you know how people fight. But the next you can still leave the house as a legacy, right? Then the next thing, when you look at Michelle, when you compare that to Keisha, Keisha has a $2,500 mortgage that she's still paying on. Then she has limited equity because she's still paying that mortgage. So, you know, if you want to retire on time, these are the three things you got to do if you get a start, a late start. So again, I'm going to recap. You want to make sure you put as much money in TSP as possible. You want to replace your family as soon as possible. And you want to pay off your real estate as soon as possible. You got to do these things if you're getting a late start. It's just extremely, extremely important because you're going to be limited in how much you take home. So with that, I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, me or one of my team members will get back to you with the, with, the, with the answer. If you want even further conversation, click the link below, set up a consultation with us. We'll take as much time as necessary to help you get the answers that you deserve. And uh, look, talk to you soon.